I'm sorry, I don't mean to pressure you, but do you see a heartbeat? Which means it will have a baby structure. And I don't know how upset I'm gonna be if I see that. Um, it happened. I'm looking at it right now. It is December 22nd and we've been in limbo on whether or not the baby is alive ever since you guys saw that miscarriage video. The doctor would not give me a solid answer from when I ovulated, from when I got my first positive. She was saying that it might not be a viable pregnancy, but she wouldn't give me that 100% that it's not viable. So they scheduled us for an ultrasound literally January 3rd. So that would have been two weeks and a half for my week eight ultrasound sound and let's be honest I was gonna go crazy not knowing so and knowing me and my lack of patience on the matter I called them back and I scheduled one for today so we're actually supposed to go today to confirm if there's a baby in there if there's a heartbeat so I don't know how I feel about it I'm kind of at a stage right now where I just want this to be over I want to know whether the baby's alive or not and I'm sick of being in limbo even though it's only been a week. Guys, something just happened literally right after we recorded that. I started bleeding. I am relieved because man, let me tell you, the things I've read on miscarriage support groups are crazy. I mean, some moms go in for something called a DNC where they have to actually go under and get surgery and get the tissue removed. And then other moms have to take a pill, which a lot of moms in that group were saying it's very traumatic. So I can't even begin to understand what forced contractions feel like. Then other moms opt to do it naturally. And I'm so happy that it's happening. Hopefully it'll continue happening naturally. That it's happening naturally. I'm really relieved because of the horror stories I read. But yeah, there. those are the three options usually that the doctor gives you. Take a pill, you do a DNC, or you opt to wait naturally. And a lot of women on that group are like, natural or pill miscarriages take so long and they're so emotionally draining, which I can understand. But uh, as you guys know, I always prefer anything that's natural versus any medical interventions. So today is December 22nd. I started bleeding. The only symptom I feel at this time is nausea. And let me tell you, it is strong nausea. Like this is the strongest nausea I've felt so far, <laughs> believe it or or not. Nothing too crazy with the bleeding. It's like period like at this point. Okay, so I'm back in the doctor's office today. I'll explain to you everything later, but they're about to do another ultrasound to confirm if it's a miscarriage. So I didn't expect to be coming in, but I came in for something completely different. And now they're saying that you could technically bleed and still have a healthy pregnancy and that they would like to confirm with an ultrasound that it's a miscarriage. So that's what's happening right now. Well, there is a little bit of tissue there, okay, but again, it is still super, super small, but no heartbeat. Hold on just a second. So there is an early, early fetus, okay, but let me do some measurements here. Still quite, quite small, so again, sometimes it just makes it difficult to tell. There's a heartbeat and it's so little. So about six weeks, four days. But it wasn't that big last time. Yeah. And again, it is still just so early. I'm supposed to be nine weeks now. Nine weeks. Okay. So it's, it's measuring six. It's There's something wrong. Yeah, the baby's definitely measuring behind. But there is a, a very small fetus, about six weeks size in there, six and a half. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pressure you, but do you see a heartbeat? I am not. I'm not seeing a heartbeat. From what you've seen, I'm still very, really annoyed that the doctor gave me hope that this baby can still be alive even at nine weeks. 
I'm nine weeks today. And the baby's measuring six weeks. And she's still saying that there could be hope, even though I'm starting to bleed. And they still wanted me to go get an ultrasound, another ultrasound next week for some reason at a specialized radiology place. I'm kind of really annoyed that I'm still being put in this limbo of, oh, it could still be alive, but not really. And it just feels like it's all done because of liability, which I understand because of liability, but I'm also a human with emotions and being told that my baby is not gonna survive, but that's only 90%. And then me thinking that I'm finally miscarrying today, this morning, and then going back in and they're telling me, well, hold on, you're not miscarrying. Possibly you might just be light bleeding for other reasons. I'm like, I'm ready to know what's going on. I think I'm miscarrying because I know my body and um, I really honestly think that it's gonna be full blown bleeding. One last thought, I didn't know the baby was measuring six weeks, which means it will have a baby structure. And I don't know how I'm upset or how upset I'm gonna be if I see that. That's why a lot of moms say it's traumatizing as you actually see the baby. And that's the thing that I'm dreading right now. I think once I'm past that, I'll be fine. All right guys, it's December 23rd and I'm still lightly bleeding. I'm not sure when it's gonna happen, but the more research I do from what women are saying is that it's going to be almost like you're giving birth. So it's going to be a few hours of painful cramping where everything, not everything, but most the baby and the sac passes. I'm not gonna lie, kind of dreading it, but at the same time, I think I can handle it. I just don't want it to end up in a, an ER visit and surgery. All right, guys, it's December 24th, 5, 17 p.m. Um, it happened. I'm looking at it right now.